Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about this beautiful creation that you see on the screen right now, Jupiter. Today we're going to be talking about very unusual amount of new discoveries that were coming out of NASA and specifically out of the Juno mission that suddenly all were explained to us in the summer of 2018. We're going to find out what these three unusual discoveries are and today you're going to learn a little bit more about this beautiful planet. Welcome to What The Math. So for the longest time uh, we've had quite a lot of questions about Jupiter and now that we have an actual active uh, mission around it, uh, we are able to answer some of these uh, questions. But what's interesting is that a lot of the answers that we've been getting from the Juno mission are not actually to the questions we've been asking. So first of all, uh, let's start with the first discovery that was basically explained and released just a few weeks ago um, in late August of 2018. Apparently, uh, the magnetic field around Jupiter is totally out of whack. It's nothing like the one around Earth, it's nothing like the one we actually expected to see. And even though for the longest time we actually expected to see this, um, because you know, that's what Earth kind of has, we instead saw this. Now, explaining this uh, currently is kind of beyond our abilities. We, we actually have no idea what's going on here. We were even very surprised to find out that um, the poles, the magnetic poles, are totally in random positions. So like for example, the uh, you see the positive side here is I guess a little bit off the north pole, but then the negative side is actually on the equator. And then there's actually another one right there. So as a matter of fact, it has two negative poles. And it also seems to be very chaotic, very unpredictable, and seems to also change quite a lot as well. Now, this was the first discovery, we still don't really know why this is happening, we just realized that it does happen, and that uh, because of this, the actual uh, magnetic field around Jupiter has a very, very, very influence on its moons and also on the other objects that might actually come close enough to be influenced by the field itself. So that's the first discovery, but related to it, we also kind of are now able to explain why, if you were to actually come really, really close to the surface of Jupiter and to kind of actually look at some of these cloud formations, you would realize how weird they are. And they are actually so strange because of the magnetic field. And so if we were to actually take a look at these clouds in infrared and basically kind of look inside and what's happening um, beneath sort of the surface layer, we would see some incredible, incredible things um, that kind of resemble the surface of the sun. As a matter of fact, if you were to look at this and not know that this is actually infrared of Jupiter, uh, you would totally think this is on our own uh, sun. And we know that our sun has these because of the magnetic field. And it seems that the Jupiter's activity on the surface is also practically um, mimicking the same effects. It's absolutely and totally dependent on the this unusual magnetic field that it has um, coming from the inside. And so these absolutely incredible images of Jupiter um, with this really crazy looking cloud um, cover can totally and absolutely be explained by the effects of the unusual magnetic field and specifically the interaction of various magnetic lines uh, coming from inside Jupiter. So here this is kind of reminiscent of what we might actually see on the surface of a star as well. And we know that stars get these spots only because of the magnetic effects and magnetic lines. And we know that uh, stars get these patches and dots because of the magnetic lines and because of the magnetic field itself. And so that's the second unusual uh, effect that was actually kind of unofficially explained. And the third discovery coming from Jupiter is coming to us straight from here, the great, uh, great red spot of Jupiter. And what we've discovered is that inside of this beautiful spot, if you were to actually to try to go um, underneath all of this surface layer and try to jump inside, what you would discover 
is a, a beautiful layer composed almost entirely of water molecules. And what's even crazier is that it's actually a lot of water. It is a tremendous amount of water. So in other words, we actually discovered a, a huge deposit of water inside the uh, red spot, the great red spot of Jupiter. And what's even crazier is that it's not just any kind of water. It's water at a pressure of about five atmospheres uh, inside the actual cloud that gives it enough temperature about zero degrees Celsius to actually become liquid droplets of water. So there's literally a cloud of water vapor that is sort of circling around that great red spot that could potentially also have, well, life? At least that's the official speculation coming off uh, some of these scientists right now. If you have liquid water, you could potentially have life. And if there's actual liquid water droplets, in that great red spot, we could potentially find some kind of atmospheric life. Now, maybe, maybe not. We'll see when we get there. And in a nutshell, that's basically what we've discovered in the summer of 2018 about this beautiful planet known as Jupiter. We've discovered it has unusual, very weird magnetic field. We also discovered that this magnetic field creates these unusual clouds we see on the surface. And that somewhere out there, there's actually liquid water on the inside, potentially enough to actually be viable for life. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And hopefully now you'll learn a little bit more about Jupiter and about our solar system as well. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and subscribe if you still haven't, and maybe even share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. And consider supporting the channel on Patreon because it does help me a lot. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, space out, and as always, bye-bye.